And right now, let's welcome to the show our friend John Pop here at uh, NRA News and Phil Schreier from the NRA's National Firearms Museum. They're up in the mothership. Gentlemen, good afternoon. Cam, how are you, sir? I am good. It's good to see you all. And, uh, oh, Phil, you brought you brought props. You you brought <laughs> items to share. I always bring toys. <laughs> we thought it would be fun to shake it up a little bit, Cam, and get Phil in here with, with a surprise. It's always a surprise with Phil. And uh, come and do a live Curator's Corner. So, uh, Phil, what do we have today? John, we have a very recent gift. Uh, our good friend uh, John Malloy, a great collector, passed away uh, recently. And through the efforts of uh, Jack Lewis at Cowan's Auctions, uh, his, uh, his widow was uh, very gracious in donating this spectacular pair of uh, cased Colt 1851 Navy revolvers. Uh, they're inscribed uh, to a, a lieutenant that fought in the, uh, not only in the Mexican-American War of 1847, but also in the, uh, in the Civil War in 1861. Wow, that's beautiful. Beautiful. So tell us a little bit, what, what, what else is there? There's a couple other items in the case with these uh, cased pistols. Well, when, uh, when a, a presentation set like this was made, uh, they evidently went all out on, on this particular set. First off, it's a double set, which is very rare. Uh, this set of revolvers is uh, a silver plated. It's not just uh, a, a nice finish. It's actual sterling silver plated to wow. the whole gun. And it's engraved, uh, fully engraved on the frame, the back strap, the, uh, the barrel. And um, they are fitted with a beautiful pair of one-piece ivory, ivory grips. And the grips themselves are inscribed. Wow. Then you have the accoutrements in the case, which include a, a powder flask, a tin of caps, a bullet mold, and a, uh, a wrench uh, to take the gun apart. Wow. So everything you need. Everything you need. And, uh, and a, be a beautiful wooden case, too, with all the finishes on that, too. It's really Be nice. Beautiful case. And they, uh, uh, John actually uh, paid for these uh, not, not too long before he passed away. It was right at about a quarter of a million dollars. So it's one of the most significant gifts we've received That's this year. That is so great. So, so someone in passing on this this heritage now, it's here for everyone to share. Not only you and I and all the the, the audience at Sportsman's Channel, but now everyone can can enjoy this thanks to this this wonderful donation to the NRA Museums. That's right, John. We've we have about six thousand guns in the collection, and uh, all but about a dozen have been donations to us. We we uh, very rarely get the opportunity or have the resources to purchase a, a piece for the collection. And uh, so everything from the Peterson collection, which we've been raving about for four years now, and, uh, and pieces like this are, uh, are very significant and, and very much appreciated. Thank you, Phil. Hey, Cam, I'm going to try, when Phil's looking the other way, I'm going to try to sneak these into my prize bag I'm bringing, goodies I'm bringing down to you uh, when I see you later in Farmville this week. Oh, did, I, uh, did you hear that, Phil? I'm sorry. Phil no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no way Phil would let you out the door. <laughs> no, he's he, only if no you way. wear the white gloves. Oh, I have to bring the white gloves. <laughs> well, I'll take those. All right, I'll see what else I can sneak out. Phil, you're too quick for me. I try. <laughs> How can folks get more information about oh, the gentlemen. NRA Museums? <laughs> oh, the NRA Museums, uh, well, you can come visit us. Uh, there, there are a number of us now. Uh, we have the uh, flagship museum in Fairfax, Virginia, which is open seven days a week from 930 to 5. Uh, plenty of free parking, free admission. Uh, our new uh, museum in, in Springfield, Missouri, at Bass Pro Shops, the National Sporting Arms Museum, again open seven days a week and free admission. Plenty of parking there at the Bass Pro headquarters. And uh, you can also see uh, museum collections out at the Whittington Center. Uh, so we've got part of our, our collection on loan out there at the NRA's Whittington Center in Raton, New Mexico. Cam, back to you, sir. I loved it. always wanted to say that on live TV. Back to you, sir. Well, th thank you, John. I appreciate it. And, uh, Phil, the next time I get up there, I've got a couple of firearms to, to show you and, uh, and uh, Jim Sapika there at the National Firearms Museum. Hopefully you can, uh, can help me get a better idea of what I have. So Great. I'll see you up there very soon. Appreciate it. Phil Schreier, John Pop with us here on NRA News, Cam and Company.